about this modulation generator, if there is a cool thing about it, it's a pretty straightforward modulation generator, or LFO, as every single other business called it. Um, they allow you to change the shape of the waveform. It has a variable wave shape for the waveform of the modulation generator, or LFO. Okay, that's saw. That is triangle. And this will be ramp. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can do the same thing with the square wave, but the square wave is not accessible simply via using knobs. You have to get the square wave out of the patch bay. And when we go to the patch bay, I'll show you how to get the square wave. But without using the patch bay, you are restricted to the triangle wave, the sawtooth wave, and the ramp wave, which isn't that big of a deal. But of course, you'll always be able to use the patch bay, unless your patch bay has been cut off for some reason. Um, people cut things off analog synthesizers, and I want to say that it's wrong. Okay, anyway. So, back to frequency modulation via the modulation generator knob. So we also have another knob down here which is the EG1 slash Ext um, knob. Um, without something being plugged into the patch bay, it uh, EG1, envelope generator 1, um, controls the pitch of both oscillators. For example... <laughs> So obviously your settings on envelope generator one are going to affect the pitch when this knob is turned up. Now you can imagine how cool that would be if they had a frequency modulation section for both oscillators because you could have, you know, one oscillator going up to the pitch, one oscillator coming down to the pitch, it would be a really neat effect. And you can kind of fake that, but not as well as if this section would have been, there would have been two sections, one for each oscillator. Um, so basically, your envelope generator one, again, I'm jumping ahead to a future module. Envelope generator one is controlling the pitch. You get to decide how much it does so. Also, there is a delay time on envelope generator one, so that effect does not necessarily have to happen immediately, uh, for example. And so you can have that set to whatever time amount you want, so that at some point the pitch is going to change as designated by the voltage control of envelope generator one on oscillators one and two. Okay, right now I have oscillator one on and oscillator two off so that you can most clearly hear what the filter does with a single oscillator. Then I'll turn the other oscillator on so you can hear that too. Okay, here we go. This is the low pass filter without any resonance or peak as Korg decided to call it. Here's oscillator one saw wave through the low pass filter without resonance. Okay, here's with a little bit of resonance. And here is with the filter in self oscillation. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Okay, that is the low pass filter. Here is oscillator one set to a saw wave going through the high pass filter with the low pass filter all the way open, um, the high pass filter without resonance. Now the high 
bypass filter with a little bit of resonance. And a medium amount of resonance. And with a lot of resonance. And in self oscillation. Okay, obviously you can have a huge amount of combinations of these two filters. That is the cool thing about that is the cool thing about the MS20. That is like the best thing about the MS20 is the fact that it has both a high pass and a low pass filter, each of them with resonance, and both of them can be put into self oscillation, even though I believe the filters are 12 decibels per octave, which is really unique. Anyway, so um, this is let me make a couple of settings here so you can see what we're talking about. I'm also going to turn on the second oscillator so you can hear it. So you can kind of hear all the cool things that you can be doing with those knobs, even just doing those knobs. Um, but we also have the modulation section. Now, Korg was nice enough to give you an individual modulation section for each of the filters, um, which is really nice. Otherwise, you, just one modulation wouldn't have been as fun because you can really mess around greatly with what's going on. First, uh, let's look at the high pass filter. First we have the MG modulation generator knob, which is also the T total external input if something is plugged in there. But right now it's just the modulation generator, so let's listen. I'm just adding um, resonance to it and playing with different settings of the cutoff point and the resonance. So you can get a lot of cool sounds with that.